how's it going everybody today i would like to show you again some nudie pranks or sea slugs and so these are animals which are mollusks and they're actually fairly closely related to the garden slugs which are eating your lettuce but they have undergone what's called an adaptive radiation in the waters of the tropical and subtropical Indo-Pacific. So there are an enormous number of species of these. This one I believe is called Eunora funebris and it's fairly common in seagrass and in shelly, shallow sandy areas. Beautiful nudibranch, look at these ink spots. And here you can see the gills. I was filming this with my bug eye lens. Now, here we have two particular individuals of a nudibranch which is called Respica Tyroni. And they're engaging in this very odd behavior. And this behavior is called trailing or tailgating. So, as far as I know, and there's not a lot of scientific literature on this, these are not mating. So this is not an act of sexual reproduction. They're just following each other. And the reasons for this could be multiple. Maybe they're mating at a later point in time. Or alternatively, this is a search strategy that they're essentially pooling their resources. So if the first one finds a source of food, then the second one will also be able to you know, feast on that. So, you know, maybe there's some kind of voting, you know, simple voting mechanisms in place here where they would go. Nobody really knows. I'm speculating here. And here's another clip of these two with their trailing behavior. Now, I mentioned that they might be searching for food. A lot of these nudibranchs are very specific in what they're feeding on. So they might go for one particular type of sponge or one particular type of tunicat. So they might have to look around the reef or the, you know, the muck diving site where they're at home to find the right source of food. So this new prank here is crawling over the sand and you can see these rhinopores really well. So these two antennae on the front of the animal, these are olfactory organs. So their function is to smell and sometimes they elevate their forebody and I'm, again I'm speculating here, I'm speculating that this is to get a better sample of the odors in the water. Now here we see the gills of that same unibrank and so this is the organ with which they take up oxygen from the ocean and uh, here on, on that day there was quite a bit of current in the water so that's why the skills are moving and the word newly brank means you know naked gills and you know that's uh, that these unprotected gills served as the, the name giver for this whole group of animals again we see an individual where you can see the rhinopause in the front, the gills in the back, really pretty one. I have yet to look up the name of this one. Should you be familiar with that one and want to save me a little bit of effort, please note in the comments which one that is. Now, this one is in Imboda Kubayana very striking colors this striking orange is really pretty and these are two individuals of i believe uh, philidella or philidia and they are probably mating and there's a shrimp watching on the left i hope you enjoyed these as a little bonus feature i'm showing you this very unusual schooling behavior of the striped eel catfish we made a whole separate video about the fact that these are actually fairly venomous. So 
I probably got a little bit too close to these and um, they form these very unusual balls. So enjoy that. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, send me fan or hate mail. I will answer both and see you very soon.